You're watching Plus TV Africa, where the big stories live, and this is Tea Time. Hello and welcome to the program. I'm Tekum Botairo, here with my usual suspects, the one and only Lakwe Banjo, and the one and only Ife Oshinkeye. Hello, you two. What's okay. up, man? Okay, so what's new? Anything? Did you find anything on, online? Any story? Okay. Any? So Kanye West is finally out of the sunken place, and he has decided to address people talking okay. about Kim Kardashian, starting with Nick Cannon. Like we all know um, Nick used to date Kim way back. Mm -hmm. And then he has, every time he goes on interviews, he keeps insinuating like stuff happened when he was dating, but nothing happened according to Kanye. Mm -hmm. He has also addressed Drake, okay. saying that, okay, look, he knows you're talking about Kim Kardashian when you were singing, Kiki, do you <laughs> love me? And then he addressed, um, what's, he, what's the last guy? Uh, Tyson Beckford, mm -hmm. yeah, to stop okay. talking about his wife. So he's just being defensive about his wife. did you find wife. anything about him moving? Because, you know... Yeah, he's going some... back to Chicago. He yeah. told a bunch and of kids... Apparently, yeah. that the, um, Kim is not too pleased about that. Did you find anything like that? Well, no, I haven't seen okay. anything like okay. that. Lapsy, did you find anything interesting? Yeah, well, I mean, she's responded and said she's not going to be too pleased, which is, I mean, okay. rightly so. I mean, yeah, yeah, but they're keeping their Los Angeles home, so... Yeah, but yeah, they've just spent, what, what, millions of dollars on mm -hmm. re renovating the house that Absolutely. they've been in. So it doesn't really make sense for him to just up himself and go to Chicago again. Okay, so on today's episode, we've got two studio guests. Our first guest is a Nollywood actress, singer, and songwriter. Our second guest is the CEO of Roots Media Platform, a Nollywood film production company. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce the keen, kind-hearted Kira Hewatch and world-class driven Wale Ojomo. And the crowd Welcome. goes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank All you. right, so it's so good to have you on the show. Thank you very much for honouring our invitation. Uh, let's start with you, Kira. You know, tell us a little bit about your name because for me, it's quite um, a different, not the Nigerian, typical Nigerian name, you know, so I was, I was very curious about that. Tell us about that. Um, well, it's just, it's actually an Irish name, but mm -hmm. it's just like any other name. It's just that it's not very common. Mm -hmm. That's just it. It's, That's precisely yeah. what I meant. So was there an inspiration behind, you know, you having that name? Was the, did, did your, your parents, you know, know someone who had that name? Or was oh, there... um, actually, I just changed it because um, I, I used to be called Eunice at one okay. point in my, my life. Right. Okay. Um, yeah, so when I came back to Nigeria from Ghana mm -hmm. in 2007, I changed my name. You know, went to the courts and changed it because I had a bad experience with the name that I had on before. You know, they say that your names, <clears throat> a name makes a person mm -hmm. and informs how you, you know, you see your life or basically or how people um, perceive you. Mm -hmm. And that's actually the truth. Now, when I was in Ghana at the time, people, females who, who, were, who had the name Eunice, for some reason, they were like, you know, promiscuous, very okay. sexually active, okay. and all of that I stuff like call. that. So, so <laughs> you see what I'm saying, right? And you so, don't want to give up that kind of vibe. No, yeah, actually, no. I actually lived in Ghana for four years, so. You I see mean, what I'm saying? Yeah. So you know, so, every, so mm -hmm. I, I, got, I got to a point where I kept getting, every time I would go somewhere and introduce myself, hi, my name is Eunice, you know, I would get, ooh. <laughs> You know, and that was actually the secondary reason. The primary reason was that, you know, I, I, I saw in, a, in a familial kind of way, in a sisterly kind of way, I fell in love with someone who was that, my namesake, and she, she became almost like a soul sister, okay. became a soul sister. And then, you know, something, something happened between us that I can't talk about, and then um, I couldn't stand to hear people call me that name. It would, I would literally wake up out of a cold sweat, you know. Somebody called me okay. with that, so I couldn't stand it. So when I... I I just figured, okay, what I, I need to change my name. I need okay. to find a new identity. What mm -hmm. do I call myself? And I didn't want to pick a name that was, you know, even though common. it was going to be unique to me, it would mm -hmm. be common that people okay. would know. So I went online for a couple of hours, for actually a long time, and I was looking for a name that had something unique, and okay. I found Kira. Okay, Kira brilliant. Knightley is also called Kira. 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 Yes, <laughs> and I didn't, I didn't, I didn't realize that knowing her somehow subconsciously mm -hmm. um, informed me picking the name because when I came across the name, I was like, this sounds familiar. It also seems like a safe place, but it, it's not too common. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I didn't realize she was the reason why I, I felt like I knew the name, you know, and then I picked it. And, and then... I suppose, you know, I mean, is it Hear Watch? Is it pronounced Hear Watch? No, he -watch. Watch. he Watch. I mean, yeah. Kira He Watch is quite, um, you can't really sense what that person looks like, what that mm -hmm. person is from. Exactly. So it's it quite, it's, white. Yeah, well, yeah. To <laughs> <laughs> so put it bluntly. Yeah. 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 And so I guess it, it kind of, it's a blessing in a way, in the mm -hmm. sense that people can't really second guess you or type you, as mm -hmm. it were. True. But my next question was, I mean, on the topic of Ghana, you've lived in Ghana, you tried a gig in acting in Ghana. Why didn't that go as smoothly as you expected? Oh, um, well, because 
I couldn't speak the language. Mm. And it was mostly the productions that had, you know, the local language at the time that, um, you know, tree and all those ones. And I couldn't actually, you know, speak the language. Funny enough, I got, I got opportunities to get into proper gigs, but just cause of that barrier, I couldn't, you know, push ahead. So I just figured, you know, come back to Nigeria. I mean, do you think that that bar barrier has intentionally been put there? Because there's a lot of Ghanaian actors and actresses that cross over to Nollywood here yeah. um, and break in quite easily. Like, uh, what's his name? Maj Majid Mish Michael. Majid. Um, what's the other um, lady? Even Nadia. John DeMello, Nadia mm -hmm. Buhari. Mari. There's a host of them. Do you think that because Nigerians are quite successful in the Nollywood and pretty much everything that they do, um, do you think that that barrier is intentionally put there by, uh, by the Ghanaian film industry? No, I don't think at the time that was it. I, I, at the time, it was just the productions that I, I was able to um, interact with. Um, the productions where I went for auditions and they said, oh, would you... Um, do you speak this language because it's mostly in this language okay. and I couldn't so you know that Okay, well, let's okay, bring so, you in uh, I was just going to go quickly. to Wale yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. because I was like you'll be uh, feeling so, left so, out can I just have a start so, <laughs> right. so it, yeah. can I just start okay. by ladies first now alright you know, no. <laughs> right, so let's start with um, you're a sociologist by profession yes, I am. and um a little bird told me that you're also a real estate smuggle. Yes, I am. And um, now you've delved into the movie industry. And the reason why we're here today is to talk about the movie okay. with Next Box, which mm -hmm. is the executive producer. Yes. I know you have a foundation that focuses on a lot of social issues and you want to put that into screen. Yes. Now, tell me, what is the motivation for you, aside the social issues you want to put on screen? Mm -hmm. Now, you can do that by doing public speaking, which you also do, okay. but why movies? Okay, um, you, can't, you can't divulge the power of the visuals, yeah. okay? Um, it's very easy for you to have sink into your memory mm -hmm. what you see, mm -hmm. far more beyond what you hear. Mm -hmm. I'm sure we must have all been used to the story of Jesus mm -hmm. and the crucifixion of sin. Mm -hmm. it, but it's not the same like if you have watched Passion of Christ. Yeah, sure. Okay, so what we see uh, as a focal point has a way of creating a lasting memory. Yeah, sure. Okay, so I'm able to use my academic vocation, look at social issues around us, the challenges of our home time, the challenges of the 21st century marriages, and how this affects, okay, and use move visuals to be able to mold and give a right profession on how the society should go. Because for us, it's very key that if we get the families right, if we get the families right, we'll get a functional society. Yeah. We spoke to Omoni Oboli yesterday, um, yes. and she was kindly, kindly enough to tell us about you know, social issues as well. Um, okay. She's currently doing a film about child brides. Okay. What, are, what do you think are the top three social issues in Nigeria today, yeah. and how would you bring that to light? Well, if we, if we, I wouldn't know if what I'll be mentioning will be uh, things that I will say uh, and a total because um, can it be something, because for me, I think it's always about the issue of your interest. Okay. The social spectrum is so large. It's large, mm -hmm. yeah. It's absolutely. large. So it will be about things that you are peculiar about. So in your, in your case, what are the top three things that you're peculiar what about? Three things for me that is very uh, paramount to, my, to us is uh, family, the family institution. And um, we see this in sociology. We say that the family is the nucleus of the society. Okay, that anything that will happen, if you get it right from the family, then the society will function. Mm -hmm. If family is dysfunctional, then you bat a society that will also be dysfunctional. To that hand, okay, we need to as exact force here, mm -hmm. so that if we get this right value, we will have a better society. Okay, if you look at the challenges of our own time, mm -hmm. without us knowing it. If you take the statistics from Lagos State and other social issues, mm -hmm. you find a trend that is quite frightening now. Spouse killing, spouse killings, those are major issues. And the trend and the fearful thing now, we have more ladies doing this, more than the men. Why do you think that is? Well, maybe, 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 maybe we've pushed them too hard mm -hmm. and they've gotten to the war and they're back to mm -hmm. fight, maybe. Sure. But if you take your statistics, mm -hmm. speaking as a sociologist now, <laughs> hmm? <laughs> if you take your statistics, yeah. if you go to Lagos State and get the reports, mm -hmm. you'll be frightened. Okay, all right, all right. So, it's um, time for a break, but when we come back, we'll be hearing more from both of our guests, actress Kira Hewatch and film producer Wole Ojomo. We'll be right back. 
Hi, my name is Bob Manuel Udoku, an award-winning Nollywood actor, producer, director. I know you love tea, so keep watching Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. That money will shoot every person that we know can shoot. We don't have that idea. You could have killed us for a long period of time. With that time, why carry Gloria? I first go hospital to force, but it didn't no go. Now I come with that, Mama. She just pulled it, he pointed, and shot. What is the soul of a man? They suffer too much. They suffer too much. Issues around the Nigerian police. We have to tackle it holistically. Hey guys, what's up? It's John Ogger. Keep watching Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Welcome back. You're watching Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. And if you're just joining us, you'll never guess who's joining us for tea. It's not just one person, but two people. We've got Nollywood actress Kira Hewatch and filmmaker Wale Ojomo. Uh, but before we go carry on with our conversation, uh, because now we want to talk about uh, Witness Box. So before we talk about it, why not take a quick look at this clip? Are you aware that um, to commit perjury is a punishable offence? What thing be that? Perjury. Perjury. I don't know why they talk. Madam, it simply means to lie under oath. This man, this man, this man. Look, just kindly instruct the witness to simply answer yes or no. I sincerely doubt it will work, Mr. Chris. And in that case, I have no problem. Wait. You just stop. Back around, Mr. Do you just barge into ongoing conversations? Yes! Yes, no! So that was a quick clip of the movie Witness Box. And before the break, uh, we were going to ask a few questions. And if Fair was the one that was going to ask those questions, okay, so, so who does your question go to? <laughs> all right, so I have two questions. First Look. of all, I have to commend the production of that movie. It looks really good and it looks up to standard. Okay. Um, probably you get the Oscars first. <laughs> <laughs> all yeah, right, man. so um, I want to know how difficult was it because you put together a star storted, um, a stellar storted cast. Cast, cast. 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 Wally, Highly remarkable. Family Branch, Kira, mm -hmm. and all of that. Yeah, How easy was it putting, working with all these people and putting them together? Well, working with them is not as difficult as getting them together. <laughs> <laughs> working with them was good. They were professionals. The robots were fantastic. They were amiable. Um, they did all to make it work. Uh, Shalash Wale was fantastic. All the actors, mannerism was good. Comfort was good. Um, so it's getting them together. The okay. challenge is not working with them. Um, they are poor professionals and they do their work very well. Family Branch and the rest, uh, fantastic guys. Um, um, uh, both for the cast, which I always celebrated, but much more also for the crew guys, who are the unsung heroes and unseen heroes. Yeah. Everybody was on board. All Including right. um, Kira, Ki uh, you know, Kira, he watched. Everybody. She? <laughs> <laughs> did I put you on the spot there? Yeah, Sorry. She did, she did, she did, she did so well. That hand out in nomination in the MVC. Yes, yes, yes. For, yes. For, I, for I was going address. to come to that. Don't right, let the. Oh. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right, so Kira, I would like you to just tell us about your role in this movie, Witness Box. Okay, well, I played, I played uh, an emotionally. Lonely wife. And you go uh, into character. Do you cry a lot? Yeah, actually, yes. Funny enough, um, <laughs> not in my real life. Yeah. Um, I've gotten to a point in my real life where I'd, I'd, it's hard before I see tears now. I don't know what's going on. But like when I get on set and, and my character is supposed to be emotional and weepy, yeah, that just comes. Mm -hmm. How do you put yourself in that place? It's quite difficult. Um, people ask me this question. I'm going to start charging it. I'm especially, okay, but you're not an actor. <laughs> but if, you're, if you're an actor, I, I have to charge you for it. But basically, honestly, I think that because of the method of acting that I use, um, I, I tend to become the person rather than... Um, Think about it. Yeah, rather than, um, you know, 
um, genuinely fake it. You know, there's a difference. And and if you become the thing, what happens is there's this barrier, this block in your mind that just disappears, it just evaporates, and you literally are living this person's life. Mm -hmm. And so if that person feels hurt, and, and it's, it's because, first of all, it's not you. So whatever hurt that you're feeling, even if you can relate it to yourself, but because it's not you, so you're translating it like that person so if if tears are involved you have to cry mm. yeah and how did you guys both you know do the the hookup how did you, how did you meet kira and how well did you if you know on? kira very well you know her for her strength um mm -hmm. which is um she's able to flow sweatlessly it's like putting a fish inside the water <laughs> so when we saw that it was an emotional road my wife did insist that i know somebody prior to that i had not known her my wife insisted that there's somebody who should be able to need Big shout out to your yeah. wife. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's the plug. She put you on. Yes, yes exactly. Plug. All right, so um, Kira, I know this this can never get old. It's been going on for, for like three years now. Mm -hmm. The comparison between you and Messi, Messi? John. Okay, John's yeah, yeah. And then um, I saw another interview where you actually said um, you met Messi Johnson and yes. she was the one that tapped you and then yeah. you just started crying. Yeah. So I think you cry in real life. <laughs> yeah, no, no, but that was, that was yeah. like, that was so epic like yeah. I would never forget it I was I was standing in front of a big fan on the AMVCA red carpet and I just I just felt somebody just tap me before I actually turned around I heard her voice first and she was like hi I love you and like your wife and I, was, I turned around and it was a messy job first I was, I was like oh my god and then you know I was so starstruck and she was looking so divine she had this beautiful white dress and it just hugged everything in the right places and you know I appreciate God's creation. Yeah. So yeah. I have to embrace that comparison now. Um, yeah. Because Listen, at some when point people, you said, when you people said like it. no, no, no. It, I, didn't, I didn't like the fact that they kept saying, oh, if you want to cast Kira in the industry, they kept saying, oh, if you want to cast somebody to play um, a message, if you need to, like a Mercy Johnson role, but you don't, you can't get Mercy Johnson, just cast Kira because she looks like. I'm like, what if I can? <laughs> what if the role that you need is 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 going to be interpreted by Mercy herself? Like you know, and then the comparisons with the looks, facially and skin tone and body. I'm like, first of all, she has an amazing body. Even at the time when they were comparing us, our bodies did not even match. Yeah, I don't so, think you look like. Each no, other her, at you know, because her body is, you know, we we, we 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 are we are aiming to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? Yeah, no, but she's an amazing person. She's oh, she's incredible. And then she's so down to earth. She's really down to earth, and I mean, I've I've met her like two or three times after that, and you know, she 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 the second or third time I met her, she actually was vibing with me like we know each other, know each other. Mm -hmm. Like I felt really special. Yeah. All so. right. So because this movie with Nice Box is um legally inclined. Mm -hmm. You guys had a private screening at the um, Nigerian Bar Association mm -hmm. conference yes. at um, Abuja, right? Abuja. Um, when should we expect this movie in cinemas? Because we're dying to see it. Uh, okay, well, um, we still have some... Um, protocols? Protocols to go mm -hmm. through. But we'll be there um, early next year. Uh, but we're still busy with private screening that we have all marked up. Some other channels of distribution beyond the cinemas. Generally, what's the reception like? I mean, the Nigerian well, well, Bar great. Association is great. Was good. Was great. I mean, for you to have been um, to have pitched, uh, for you to have been accepted, and it was the first time that was going to be done in the Nigerian Bar Association. Yeah. I find that a lot of the times when films are legally inclined, like so, yeah. um, that you know, it's either kind of heavily summarised or okay. kind of you don't go deeply into the legal system or things that happen in real life isn't okay. what's happening in the movie. Where, but yeah. I mean, if you've shown this to the Nigerian Bar Association and you know, I mean, over just, six thousand lawyers. Yeah. Right? yeah, I mean, so mm. so what was their reaction like to the legal side? Yeah, of it was it was good. But, um, first and foremost, we must get this right. It was first drama before being legalistic. Mm, okay. So it was just a story, okay, that was told from the court. Right. Okay? So it was more of um, it was more of the challenges of the twenty first century marriages. Okay. The challenges of our own times. Okay, but it ended up in court. So we're telling the story from the court. So it was not actually, you know, the legal, legal, legal. It was it, it got to the legal hand to just dissolve the marriage. Okay. okay? But from the court we're not telling a story of the challenges of the 21st century woman, the challenges of um, the family unit, how we've had some values incinerated, and how is this is gradually affecting the fabric of the society. Okay, so that, that's all, all right then. Uh, time for another break. When we return, it will be more of a fascinating chat with both of our guests, Kira Hiwatch and Wally Ojomo. Don't miss it. <music> 
Hi, I'm Danilo Gray. Keep watching Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Today's top stories are... And the Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria. I'm here at Union's Bachelorette Street. We have destroyed our transformer complete as well. Lowest level. I'm Black Bay Banjo. This is Plus TV Africa. The big stories live here. Big stories live here. The big stories live here. Hi, my name is Aiko Kichuku. And Florence Okichuku. Keep, Keep watching, watching Tea, Tea Time, Time on Plus TV, TV Africa. Welcome back. It's still Tea Time right here on Plus TV Africa. And we're swiftly moving on with our wonderful dialogue with both of our guests, Nollywood actress Kira Hewatch and filmmaker Wally Ojomo. So, if uh, let's go to you. You have a question? Okay, yes, I do. Um, and first of all, I need to do some accolades on you guys because this movie hasn't even gone to the cinemas yet and it got nominated at the AMDCA. And Kira got nominated for um, Best Actress in a Drama Series. Yes, best Actress in a Drama And uh, against the likes of Omoto. Day. Yes, you did not win, but how did he feel being nominated in that category? And how did he feel losing as well? Um, okay, first of all, it was it was a huge shock. I think for me, the being nominated first of all was um, was much more of a bigger hit than actually not winning because being nominated, I already knew that I wasn't going to win it. Um, because why did you, I, why did you know that? Um, because I saw Motala's name on the list, and she uh, she has been doling out work for a long time. It was it was time for her to get recognized, and mm -hmm. for me, I felt like that was the best platform, you know. And 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 it wasn't even because I felt she's on Motala. I just feel like. Um, she is she's a phenomenal actor, and that's and that's the truth. Is that I just checked recently and realized that I don't she's not I don't I don't think AMVC had nominated her because I think she actually even said it that it was, that her, was first. her first yes. exactly yeah. so I was like okay and she poured her heart and soul into alter ego so yeah okay. so I didn't I didn't even contest it so much I was just incredibly grateful that you know they recognized me okay yeah. so for you um yeah. How did you feel a movie you would just... Is this your first production? Yeah, this is first. All right, this is your first. first. So your first, your debut into um, production, mm -hmm. you got nominated at the AMBCS. How did that make you well, feel? That was quite pleasing. Um, 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 myself and my wife were on TV that day. Mm -hmm. We're hopeful. Um, for okay, the best. I was going to ask you, did we're you also hopeful, think you wouldn't win? Yes, because, uh, <laughs> we're hopeful that our efforts will get some accolades, like you said. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, because um, we, we got the best. Um, it's two years this month mm -hmm. that we started. So, and um, it has taken this much time because we just wanted to come and okay. very good. Okay. So, and uh, we get the best, the best hands on board. So, we are very hopeful that we should get. Uh, when it came and it was at the best heart rise, we felt very lighter because that was one of the top three. So that means you disagree with Kira saying she knew she was Well, for, for, for a businessman, a producer, I'm hopeful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I also know I knew, I, I also knew our limitations. Um, it's not yet in the same and it was based on voting. Mm -hmm. It was based on technicalities. Um, you won't beat my career, too. Hey! <laughs> nice. Okay, let me quickly like ask it. you, you know, um, because uh, like in the US, when they have, when there's a movie, there's a budget, and then they also reveal, you know, how much, how successful the movie has been, and, mm -hmm. you know, financially. So mm -hmm. I wanted to talk a little bit about the finances with regards to, to this, you know, like mm -hmm. what was the budget like? Did it exceed budget? And, you know, if there has been any monies made, what well, it's not out yet, is it? Yeah. So I would imagine you haven't made that much money. From it. Well, 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 we're just rolling out, like like Kira said. Our mm -hmm. first private viewing was at law school. Mm -hmm. Then thereafter, we've had some private viewing. Mm -hmm. um, those are just the channels. Um, so you still have your drops coming. Movie is something that can outlive you. Mm -hmm. So it's not about uh, anything that any pecuniary interest should be the subject matter. Mm -hmm. uh, because you, if you go on DSTV and you 
look at some channels, you'll find out some movies have been done 30 years ago, mm -hmm. and they're still viewing. Yeah. Uh, but, so, but my, my, what I was trying to get to was, you know, what, like, the cost for the budget. Oh, how, the budget how, how I, I might want for to, this one, uh, yes, for Witness I'm, Box. I, it was quite, um, if you know about Exorbitant movie, or? Yeah, it was quite high. But, okay, uh, for so what sort of figures for, are we looking at? For security reasons. <laughs> uh, not yeah. Yeah. Now. So okay. nobody blows uh, the whistle. Nobody blows it. <laughs> out of public. Okay. But it was not, I mean, you saw the cast. Uh, you saw the exactly, production, exactly. Um, the cameras, mm -hmm. those are very expensive things to okay. achieve. Those All right, Blackbridge, final question? No, yeah, I just wanted to know, um, actually, what was the biggest challenge? I mean, as an actress and as a producer in an industry that is generally quite challenging to break into, um, mm -hmm. and this is your first production as well, isn't it? Yes. How challenging has that been for you? Well, the challenges has been more of, um, it was a first sponsored project, so... Um, and um, because you are coming in new, there might not be leverages you can tap on, maybe mm -hmm. advertising and the rest, uh, because everybody needs to see that you have something they can latch on. Mm -hmm. uh, so you might not have that advantage. So uh, it took a while for all of this because it was self-sponsored okay. as well. But well How about you, Kira, your challenges? Um, well, challenges on the project yeah, on itself? Yeah, no, with Nicebox. Yeah, and I guess overall as an actress, overall, yeah, an you know, what's your biggest challenge? Uh, I don't think we have time for that, but, um, <laughs> but qu quickly, I think, okay. I think, um, we what's my... We haven't got much time, so if you just round up quickly. Yeah, um, I think my biggest challenge in the industry is structure. That's it, I'm just going to leave it at that. All right, thank you very much. Unfortunately, that's where we're going to have to wrap it up. Join us on Monday next week for absolutely new episodes of Tea Time. But before we go, my thank yous, as always, go first and foremost to my co-anchors, Ife Oshunkeye, Lakpe Banjo, the production team and last but not certainly least both of our studio guests here he watch and wally or john moore i'm talking okay. about and thanks for watching and have yourself a lovely weekend i'm talking about and i bid you good morning we'll see you later this afternoon